Are you a node originator, a node creator, seller of finance, owner of finance, wrap note investor? And you're curious about what a note can sell for or what discount you may get if you sold a note to a note buyer, be it a whole note, note partial, or borrowing against your note in a hypothecation? This video is for you. I've been buying notes for over 13 years, and I'm going to show you some of the biggest factors that go into in the discount side on a note. Now, if you're not aware of, most of the time when a borrower occupies a property, it's called an owner occupant, Dodd Frank and Safe Act come into play. In our blog we show here is one of the biggest things that come into play for us is that you got to make sure that you underwrit the borrower which means that you prove that they have the ability to repay and you've used an RMLO in, that, in your state to create that note. Now, let's say you did all that right, you got a great mortgage, great note, and you underwrit the borrower very well. We're gonna dive into what numbers in that note are important to us and what things are not important. Let's start with the not important. I don't care your rehab. We don't really care about what assets you put into the property. We're not buying the note, the property, we're buying the note. So you're gonna see in this blog, things like what we care about, what we don't care about. Let's dive now into what matters. The two biggest numbers that go into all this is your term and your interest rate. We create a great chart that you can use and a calculator that if you're curious what it would sell for estimately wise, click on here. Now we look at a chart here. We have uh, basic numbers. The 100,000 is just a, uh, a number we put out there. And then the 360 is your term. On the left side is the rate you wrote the borrower at. The top one is what the note buyer, us, is looking for. So if you wrote the note at an 8% interest rate and we're looking for a 12, you can expect us to buy it at around a 70% of the balance of the note. If you wrote that exact same note at a 10%, 360 months, you can expect 85%. Now again, it's a round number. There are other factors coming to play. We also calculate if a default happens and whatnot. Now let's go down here and see what happens when we make it 240 months versus 360 months. That same 10% note with the same buyer can yield you a 95% of the balance of the note. Tremendous discount on the term. So we encourage you to write the term lower and the interest rate higher to be able to sell the note for as high as possible. If you're looking to sell the note, you can go to our website, list everything else here. If you have other questions, curiosities, such as is it what happens if it's rural? And things like that. What is the process? What documents do we need? What's the time frame? You can go to our FAQ here. And once you fill out the form, we respond within 24 hours. Let's take a quick look at some of the FAQ topics we cover. What type of notes we do and don't buy? What are the options? What's the process of selling this note? What's the expected bid offer? How do I get a full price offer? Meaning, with all the situations possible, what offer will JKP bid on my asset? What do we need? What documents? What causes a discount, as we discussed in this video? And do we originate notes? And what is hypothecation and note parcels? So I hope this video helps you understand how to write your next note in, in a position that you can sell it for the most money in the future.